Good evening, teacher. Hello, people. Hello. I am still driving to my home. Okay. But don't write for you, please. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Oh, uh -huh. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. I'm. I don't know why I feel very tired today. Lo siento. Yeah, I feel tired. For those? Maybe because yesterday we celebrated Mother's Day and we were out all day. <laughs> ah, um, pero no vaya a ser maybe you drink papá. and eat too much. Ah. <laughs> pero no vaya a ser el papá que ahí ni un dulce. Ah, uh, well... It's up to you. <laughs> okay, I, I, I had fun last yesterday. We went with our family to a, to a house uh, with a pool and we spent the day there. Wow, it was good. It was tiring. And you, how was your Mother's Day? Good. Good? Yes. Um, comimos de todo. <laughs> okay, good. On the mamá y on the mi abuela. Ah. 
solo acá un ratito porque como igual trabajé, salí como a las 7. Y solo en carrerita nada más. Pero ahí estamos. Ok. Ok. Well, it's time. It is time to get started. Let's go for the first attendance of the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please. Respond, okay. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Very good, welcome. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Very good, welcome. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Erika de Nilsson, not here yet. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Okay. I am here. Okay, good. Well, the Firpo. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? No way. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, ooh. Okay. Hernan Antonio Chacon. Good evening, present teacher. Okay, welcome, Hernan. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher, I am driving. Okay. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here, present teacher. Good. Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Okay. Jose Miguel. Today is your turn for the personal session, okay? Congratulations. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present teacher. Good. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Okay. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Here I am, teacher. Okay, welcome. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good. René Alessandro Teresón. Good evening, teacher. Here I am. Good evening. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay, very good. Suleima Rosibel Catalan. In action. Jorge Luis Martinez. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. Very good, very good.
Let me see. What were you doing on? Here I am, here I am, here I go. Okay. Give me a second. Let's go here. Oh. Well, we finished, we were working on this email, remember? The email to Guadalupe from Daniel Ruiz. Yeah. And you were going to find out the four instructions or the four tasks for Guadalupe and the, the priority or the order of these tasks. Let me read the email again for you. First time. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. All the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th and to write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it. Finally, visit the course in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Hmm. Did you organize the events? Okay, I hope you did. Could you please write for you? What is the first thing Guadalupe should do. What is the first thing Guadalupe should do? Write it in the chat, please. Let's see if you agree. What is the first thing Guadalupe should do? Okay, let's see. See? customers in the list. Hmm. Two latest sales reports. Man. 
customer. Somebody said, you have two days to do it. One hour each day. Yes. Es que, que es lo que tiene para hacer en dos días. Contact the customer, eso es lo primero. A ver, a ver, vamos, vamos. Escriban. Only the first thing. Only, solo la primera. Only the first thing, please. Okay, let's have a I think yes, this is. Uh huh. Okay, I agree with you. This is the first thing to do. Send the two latest sales reports. On May 26, and then, then write a new welcome letter for the customer. Yes, I agree. I think that is the first thing she should do. Creo que es lo primero que ella debería hacer. Because she only has one day. Yes? She only has one day to do it. He must work four hours on that. So le va a llevar four hours. She only has one day. That is the first thing. Okay. So let, let me mark it here. This is the number one. What is the second thing she must do? Write the second. What is the second thing she must do? Mm -hmm. Today, a ver, a ver, a ver. Mm. 
Hmm? Okay, I think yes, some of you are, I agree with you. This is the second thing in order of priority. I guess this is the second thing we must do. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. That must be the second thing to do. Debe ser la segunda cosa. Okay, what is the third one? Okay. Yes. Definitely, that is the third thing to do. Yes, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Well, let's mark the second. This is the second. Then this is the third. And finally, this is the fourth. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Contact the first three potential customers. In the list from Mr. Sun. What did they do? Very good. Okay, now we're going to do something, uh, but maybe. Very good. So these are the three things that they should do, the four things. All right. Now, um, I, I want to share something with you and I want you to read this. Okay, there is a link I want you to study. I want you to read this article. Let me show you the article quickly. Look at this. This is an article I want you to read. Uh, okay, we are going to divide the article. But 
it is the topic is this 17 less pushy alternatives to as soon as possible 17 less pushy alternatives to as soon as possible a ver cómo podríamos traducir eso Pushy. What, what do you think is pushy? Presionar. Cuanto posible. Ajá, presionar. And less pushy. Lo menos molesto. Mm, okay. Okay, so when somebody asks you for something, okay, for example, they tell you, okay, Jose, I need this report as soon as possible. Okay, yes, as soon as possible. In English, there is an acronym for this. Is ASAP. It's an acronym for this. So when you see that, it's as soon as possible. I want you to do this ASAP. Están diciendo as, as, soon, as, possible. as soon as possible. Okay. So as in Salvadorian for yesterday. I need this for yesterday. Yeah. They tell you that. Necesito esto para ayer. Terrible. No? When your boss asks you for something like that. Well, in this article, there are 17 ways, 17 forms to ask that. In, like in a more polite way. Yeah, not that pushy, <laughs> que no suene tan uh, así, no, tan presionante. Look, there are 17. As soon as possible, synonyms. Yeah, so these are 17. Look, there it is, as soon as possible. <laughs> Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to read this article, not all, because I'm going to divide this. I, I'm going to split you in four groups and each group is going to present four or five of these uh, expressions, okay? You are going to present four or five of these expressions. Um, I would like you to give examples on how to use those expressions. Okay, let me show you this. This is, I'm going to form four groups. Group one is going to talk of alternatives one, two, three, and four. Group two, five, six, seven, and eight. Group three, nine to 12. And group 14, 13 to 17. Okay? Okay. I want you to make, I want you to make a, a presentation. I will give you enough time. You have to prepare a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, and then you're going to divide the presentation and everyone is going to present one part. Okay? Well, All right. let, let me form 
the groups. The groups will be, wow, I need four groups. Create one more time to mix them up. Or oh, there are a lot. Okay. Group one are Atilio, Consuelo, Jennifer Lisette, Marcos, Nelson, and Rene. Group two, Eric Jose, Evelyn, Jose Miguel, Sofia, and Tony. Group three, oh, let me see, I have to do this. So, Alexander, you are in two, uh, connected in two devices. Yes. Okay. Wow, I will add one more. I'm going to move one of this group to another group. Five, two, four, six, okay. Okay, group three, no, I, I'm, let me repeat. Group one, Atilio, Consuelo, Jennifer Lisette, Nelson, and Rene. Group two, Eric, Jose, Evelyn. No, no era Rene, era Marcos. No, por eso, está no. Yes, I'm repeating, but I moved Marcos. I moved Marcos because Alexander is in two, uh, devices, so I need to move one here. So now Marcos is in group three. Uh, group two, Eric, Evelyn, Jose, Sofia, and Tony. Group three, Pedro Alexander, Jorge Luis, Luis Miguel, Marcos, and William. And group four, Hernan, Jennifer Gabriela, Jose Abel, and Jose Fernando. Also, Jose Abel is like a, is only a listener. Uh, I will have to move one from group three to group four. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five. Leave it like that. Okay, so I repeat. Group one. The expressions one, two, three, and four from the article. Group two, expressions five to eight. Group three, expressions nine to 12. And group four, the expressions 13 to 17. Is that clear, people? Teacher. Yes. Uh, De momento me encuentro manejando todavía. Se me Who's that? Who are you? Fernando Marroquín. Fernando. Yes. Oh. What can I do? And Jose Abel, are you available? Jose Abel? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Anyways. Ahí. Eh, en todo lo que llega, Jose Fernando, prepáranos. Okay. Sí, cuando llegue me conecto así y le aviso. Okay, people. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah, I want you to make a short presentation, a PowerPoint, and with uh, you're going to talk about that. 
go to your groups, please. You have the link to read the article and work. Join your groups, people. Perdón, teacher, en el 2 parece, pero es que se me apagó el teléfono y ya, ya no me unió. ¿En el 2? Creo que era con Tony. Uh -huh. Tony parece que mencionó. Vaya, te mando ahí de regreso. Gracias. Ahorita, ahorita. Any question with the activity, guys? Teacher, ¿verdad que vamos a hacer oraciones con las primeras cuatro reglas? O indicaciones de cómo utilizar el as soon as possible. Well, yes. You have to present the four expressions and make examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Good. De alguna manera, pongamos unas imágenes y, y luego las leamos. Ah, ahí, ahí está el teacher, hay, hay que aprovechar. Okay. Teacher, en yes. un PowerPoint solo tenemos que copiar el texto y poner las imágenes y cada uno va a interpretarla, me imagino, ¿verdad? O es necesario algo más. Well, uh, what do you mean in, in, interpretar? Say it in Spanish? No. Um, no, decirlo de, de manera bonita, como que uno estuviera, de, como, como interpretación, como teatral, pues así como, no sé si recitado, cantado, pero. pero, <laughs> no, pero I si think estuviera... must to explain the expressions and, and use it in an example. La, la cinco dice, I be grateful if you go to this. Es como, te agradezco, te agradecería que llegaras. Algo así, si no malentiendo. Entonces, ¿qué? ¿Lo tenemos que como hacer en una oración o solo poner una imagen? Sigo sin entender. Explain, explain. Ah, explicarla. Yes, and use it. So remember that these are different ways to ask for something without saying as soon as possible. 
ya. Eso fue el lunes. ¿Verdad? Oh, Me please. perdí esa clase entonces. No, no, this is... This is not, this is something new, Brad. Ok, Sin so... decir tan rápido como sea posible. Sin yeah, decir. so these are different ways. Different ways to ask for something without being so pushy. Yeah, sin ser tan este sin sonar tan tan rudo tan, tan pesado, Ajá, pesado. Te, te diría la palabra más, más, más yeah. adecuada debe ser más sutil yeah mm -hmm. yes las no, mujeres son buenas the idea is one one way is that I be grateful por supuesto hay que hay que ¿Cómo dice la de ustedes? Number five. I'd be grateful if you got to do, if you got to this before, uh, I don't know, the, the, the manager's meeting. Yeah. For example. It's a different way to ask something in a more polite way. You have to explain and make an example. That's it. It's not too complicated. Ahí me confunde esta frase porque dice antes X de Y, X y Y, pero eso no, no entiendo el contexto. Es como decir antes un ejemplo. A, a la reunión. O sea, envíame, te agradecería que me lo enviaras antes de que inicie la reunión, por decirte. Ah, oh, could be. Algo así, no sé, X, Y. Es como oh. una situación X y una situación Y. No sé. Oh, el de Alianza. Yes, that's, that, that sounds good. That sounds good. What? What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> Gol de Alianza. Por oh, Dios. <laughs> Sure. Okay, so you have five, six, seven, and eight, right? Okay. Thank you. Va a ser una Tony, ya se la mandó y usted me dice cómo va. Vaya, si quieren, para poderle dar. Teacher. Teacher. Teacher, estamos perdidos, teacher. We don't understand nothing. Teacher, are you there? I'm sorry, I was on mute. Okay, what do you think? I don't understand. What did you what did you get? What is this? Idea? No. Okay. So in this, this is an article about different ways to ask someone to ask another person to do something as soon as possible, but using other expressions, more polite, okay, to be less Pushy, para sonar menos eh, eh, rudo, menos. Yeah? Imagine that you are 
a boss or you are the supervisor or you are the manager and you you need your assistant or your secretary to do something all right so there are different forms different ways to ask for that and that is this article about there are here you see 17 different ways to ask someone to ask a colleague to do something as soon as possible yes and you are group number three okay so you have to talk about expressions 9 10 11 and 12. Yes. Can you scroll down, please, to, to see the number nine? Marcos, hacia abajo. I don't understand. Okay. What is turn around? I normally wouldn't ask for such a quick turnaround, but, and you can explain the reason for urgency. Um, it would be great if you could address this by, and you give a date and time. So, Estas son 17 formas de pedirle a alguien que haga algo as soon as possible. In, en una manera menos, menos ruda. O menos, menos este, ¿qué pudiéramos decir? Estresante, menos difícil. ¿Ya? Yeah? Estos son estas expresión. So what what you are going to do is to present these four expressions: number nine, number ten, number eleven, and number twelve. All right. And use use them in an example. Y utilizarlas. Por ejemplo, la número nueve sería, I normally imagine I am the boss and I'm asking you. Yo te digo, well, I normally wouldn't ask for such a quick turnaround, but, this, le digo, yo normalmente no te pediría esto en como te dijera, en una, un resultado tan rápido, ¿no? O algo tan, tan de repente. But, we have a, a, an extraordinary meeting. Tenemos una reunión extraordinaria. So, it would be great if you could address this by Sería genial si tú pudieras encargarte de esto y le das una fecha y una hora. Tomorrow, By tomorrow for example. at noon. Ok. Yeah. Tomorrow in the morning. In the morning. Yes. So, y así luego. The, the reason for urgency maybe could be I feel sick. Uh, could be, of course. En el ejemplo que yo les pongo, les digo, bueno, there is an uh, extraordinary meeting. All right. Yeah. Una all right. Extraordinary. Eh, y así hay diferentes expresiones. La otra es, this is time sensitive. Yeah. Entonces, la idea es esa, utilizarlas en ejemplos. 
presentarlas a la clase en una pequeña presentación. Ok. Ok, gracias. Good. Hello, people. Any question? Any problem? More question. Very, very. <laughs> Teacher, eh, una consulta eh, con respecto a. One moment, please. Um, yo, la verdad, no, no comprendí mucho qué tendríamos que hacer con estas. Eh, estos párrafos. Ok. Ajá. Y, pues sí, porque para, para hacer la presentación, primero tengo, tengo que entender qué se va a hacer con esto. Ok. So, ¿sí? Estas son expresiones diferentes uh -huh. o maneras de pedirle a alguien que haga algo as soon as possible. Uh -huh. Pero de una manera un poco más refinada. No tan más suave más suave ya uh -huh. esos son entonces ustedes las tienen que presentar y dar un ejemplo de cada una como cómo se utilizaría ah, en la ah o sea que vamos a utilizar esas expresiones así como el título que dice I'll get you answer shortly en cuestiones de nuestro trabajo cómo se lo podemos pedir a alguien Exacto, ustedes le están pidiendo a alguien ah, esta expresión es para, para okay. esta manera más suave. Okay. ok, yo iba llegando al planeta X, que no lo había entendido. Ok, okay teacher, thank son, you. Son como tipo reglas, teacher, o... No, no, o, no, no, no son reglas, son o... expresiones. Uh -huh. Son Gracias. formas de pedir las cosas a, a alguien más. Para correspondencia, correo, algo así, ¿verdad? Estaba queriendo yeah. comprender esto, ¿verdad? En los correos personales o de empresa. Yeah. No, o personalmente tú le pides a alguien que te haga algo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Esa es la idea. Ok, okay. 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 hoy sí. <ríe>
hacer las cosas. ¿no? Exactly. Hello, how are you doing? I'm going to take the attendance here. Hilo Ernesto Castillo. Eh, así me está quedando, chicos. As soon as, soon as possible, uh, SAP, four ways to use. And so, though there is this, how to use in the first form by date and time because the reason. And we can we see a form to use if the other person has an exact time and can priorities the other word accordingly. And the example is, I need you to give me a report by Monday at a.m. as long as you don't have pending work. Está bien, está bien. Okay. ¿Qué le parece? Vaya, mire cómo se lo dejé, Nia Evelyn. Solo que el orden no es el correcto. ¿no? El orden de los factores no altera el producto. Ah, pero eso lo arreglamos. <risa> Por acá es Pero yo que. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Time eliminator. Y en, el, en el, los artículos, Luis, en el que estábamos viendo, no está. Estoy, estoy buscando. By the time. Teacher. Yes. Um, no, no sé si estará correcto de la forma que hemos armado esta, esta oración, ¿verdad? Eh, si dice que sí, pues ya. Yo <ríe> voy a participar en el comercio, Ya Yeah, okay. Está bien. Yes. Al igual que esta. Porque ahí estuvimos titubeando un poquito. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. These bueno, are... vamos, vamos todos. <laughs> Cabal. <laughs> Faltan tres. This, this is our top priority you have if done by
No. Hello, teacher. Eh, mandé un, una imagen que me sacó eh, de, la, de la reunión. Ok. Estaba en el grupo 4. Ok. Envío para allá. Gracias.
Okay, welcome back, people. I hope you're ready. But I need to take the second attendance. Okay, so let's do it. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Listen. Good, thank you. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present. Great. Uh, Erika Denilson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Good. Hernan Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Okay. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher. Okay. Jose Miguel Maza. Present. Good. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Great. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present teacher. Okay. Marcos Vidal Lumaña. Present teacher. Great. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good. Eh, René Alessandro Teresón. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Eh, Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Ruth Abigail, Abigail Brito. Ruth Abigail Brito. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present. Good. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay. Suleima Rosibel Catalán. Uh, Jorge Luis Martinez. Here present, teacher. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present, teacher. Okay. Did you finish, people? Well, let's see what you got. Okay, group number one. Could you please... Tell us about the um, the expressions. You have to present. Uh, oh, okay, Ruth. I saw your message there. Okay, group one, please. Excellent. Okay, this is good evening. Good uh, evening. We are talking about as uh, soon as possible and um, that is ASAP. And we, with my team, we are told of four ways to use, right? Mm -hmm. And the four ways to use are by date and time because a reason. We can talk of this form that if you have a specific deadline and uh, when you need something, Oh, well, if the other person has an, has, has an exact time or when you can prioritize the other work accordingly. For example, um, I don't know if something is, if someone of my partners can you can read the example. Okay, team, no matter how. 
Decir el nombre del compañero para que no se quede perdido. Okay, uh, Mr. Nelson, can you read the example that you do it? Perdón, perdón, se ve entrecortado. Mr. Nelson, can you read the example that you do? Okay. Uh, Estaría en la siguiente diapositiva, ¿verdad? Um, it's here in the... Oh, it's a, I need you to give me a report. I need you to give me a report. By a.m. as long as you don't have pending work. Okay, this is the first way to do. To use, excuse me. And the second is... When you have a chance in the next day before tomorrow, this week. And here I need of my, of the participation of my partner, Jennifer. Can you, can you explain that? Mr. Juan, make the report of is of month last because it's spares in the first five day of month net. Y faltó el day. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. No problem. Okay, and the uh, third way to use is this. When I apologize for the urgency, but could you please to extend me the complete C at your soonest possible convenience? And, and here I need of the participation of my partner. Oh, where are you? Consuelo, can you hear, can you explain that please? Or only read the example. En el chat se me fue la red, lo que te había dado, no lo anoté en el cuaderno. Can you read in that diapositive? Léelo, ahí está. You can read in that diapositive. Ah. Please, please go and you're finished. Or you say, fun, you call. The uh, use the phone to call the electrician. Electrician. Okay, that's it, I don't have time to do the other, the ultimate, the old, the last one. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, no problem. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, team one. Uh, uh, um, now, okay. Can you stop sharing? Thank you. Very good, very interesting. Nice use, good use of the expressions, okay? Okay, team two, please. More team two. ¿Qué, qué es eso? Eric, Gabriel, José, Sofía, and Tony. Vamos, Tony, vamos, Tony. Okay. Um, good afternoon. We have the um, synonyms five, six, seven, and eight. We are the team two. And we want to explain um, the synonyms that we use as soon um, to re replace as soon as possible. The number one. Uh, okay. Please help me, Evelyn. Okay, and, and the expression is um, will be grateful. Uh, in the example, uh, I use uh, I use 
Uh, Jose would be grateful if you could arrive three hours early with the presentation for the meeting. And, um, and the option is, uh, I don't know, uh, is the report or the presentation. Uh, it's arrived three hours early because I need to uh, see you the presentation. I only that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Good. The number six, uh, please help me, uh, Jose Miguel. Okay. Um, ensemble and say size. These are reality urgent question. Let's super the game for tomorrow until we have proper answers. Yes. Okay. Simple. Good. The number seven, please help me, Eric. Uh, my example is is now DLC for calls the Anton Antony for seeing the contract for the sales, the new company. Mm -hmm. It's correct. The, the... I think um, it's now feasible. We need to call the, the toners for, mm -hmm. for the new contract and, and we we like to we try to say that we need the help of attorneys um, for a new contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, only the word sign is S I N G S I G N sign. S I G N. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Let me uh, a second, please. Right? Yes. Because uh, sign is, is when I sign the... Uh, sing, sing a song. Sing a song, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Is now free solo observation? Um, well, in this one, I, is, maybe it's better if you use two. Okay. It's now feasible to call the attorney to sign or for sign. To sign, to sign, to sign. the contract for the to sales. The contract for, for sales. The sales, the word sales is not necessary. For sales, contract for sales. What, what, what do you want to say? For, para la venta de la nueva compañía? Uh -huh. Is that what you want to say? Exactly. Okay, it's better if you say for the new company sale. For, okay, to sign the contract. Uh, for hmm. the new company's sale. For sign the new company sale. To sign the contract for the new company sale. Ah, the contract to sign the sign the contract for the new company sale. Okay. The company sales. Mm -hmm. Call the tenants to sign the contract for new company sales. Oh, okay, perfect. And then number eight, please help us, Sophia. Please see other uh, some uh, possible before um, by some call. To show there at five o'clock. Any observation, teacher? 
Keep orders as soon as possible. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay, very good, very good. And tip number three, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, Luis. Hello. Eh, no le puedes poner como modo de presentación. Ahorita. Okay, Listo. All right, guys. We have, for example, for as soon as possible, sinónimo, sinónimo, creo que era, no me recuerdo bien. Okay. Así yeah. es, así es. Next Muy one. Bien. We giving a, a example for, for, no sé cómo decirle, cómo exponer una, una situación Uy, no veo la pantalla. ¿Mirar la pantalla? Espera, no, ahí está. Bueno, I will real. Giving an explanation for the thing daily provides you understand it might be incumbent, income, I can pronounce that. Go ahead. Inconvenient go ahead. for the mm -hmm. other person, a little empathy will go a long way. For example, I normally walk as for a such quickly turn around, but I have extraordinary meeting. It will be a great if you call other this by tomorrow at noon. Mm -hmm. Next one, Marcos. Okay. This is time sensitive. Please send the report. We have only one day left. Okay. Continue, um, Alexander Osorio. Sí, Alexander. Yes. Timely uh, as uh, what bene what benefits do you get by working with our company? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, eh, el compañero creo que ha pedido pan y agua. William. William. Ah, William. Okay. Your quick response will be appreciate. The first part makes is impolite ah, because you are assuming that it is difficult for the person who has to answer and what's more that they should make your question a priority. To be polite, you can omit the first Part and nicely ask for a quick response. For example, I would really appreciate a quick and urgent response. For example, anything awaiting to reply. Mm -hmm. Only. Hey, okay, good. Now, please, team four. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Marco, William, Alexander. Good job, good job. Hi, everyone. Um, before and before screen, share your screen. Um, I'm sorry because no one in my group having PowerPoint. Okay. No I, I working in work. Okay. Um okay. 
the text and as soon as possible. I work in this acronym and the time for work. They need the other person. Okay, I work in um, 13, 14, 15, and no complete. I'm sorry, 16 and 17. I'm sorry. Okay, um, okay um, Fernando, uh, can you read number 13? Fernando, I need you to receive the package in the in a week from China. Okay, in a week and E of W is equal end of week. Okay. Hernan, can you read 14? Bless you. Okay, continue. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, will you agree to participate in the commercial event? And I will get uh, I will get you an password shortly uh, shortly by in the end of the day. Ya sería como la respuesta, ¿verdad? O sea. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Eh? Okay, la pregunta es, ajá, la pregunta es, correcto. Uh, you, uh, will you agree to participate in the commercial event? I uh -huh. will get you an answer shortly be, be the end of the day. Okay. Um, alguna observación, teacher? <laughs> no, no, that's okay. And okay, 15? And, and 15 and George, can you read, please? George, when you when can you give me my medical supply? You, I'll have it, it ready for tomorrow at noon. Okay, everyone. Um this one no complete 16 and 17 i'm sorry okay okay no problem don't worry okay people uh, 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 uh. very good very good okay the idea is because we we were talking about the commands and how to ask uh, something to people, okay? How to request something, how to ask for something. Eso estábamos viendo en las lecciones, ¿no? Cómo pedir algo, cómo solicitarlo. And it was interesting for me to to uh, Widen to ampliar ¿verdad? nuestra expresiones, ¿no? Varias expresiones que también se pueden usar para solicitar algo de una manera un poco más polite, más refinada. Um, ok, so that's end, end, practice, ok, practice, speaking, and trying to uh, put your ideas into English. Sometimes that's difficult huh? to put your ideas into sentences and to express your ideas. So that's the purpose of this course, you know, that you uh, communicate your ideas. Okay. Um, so I don't know if it was too difficult for some of you. But uh, we need to push ourselves to do a little bit more. No sé si fue algo difícil para, para ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, parece que algunos sí sintieron un poco complicado, pero la idea es irnos empujando, irnos impulsando, ¿no? A, 
a expresar nuestras ideas, a expresar las ideas, a comprender lo que vemos y eso. That's the idea of this. Ok. Any question? Any comment? No. Great. Okay, let's continue with the next lesson. This is kind of simple. Uh, let's see. Expressions to express obligations or needs at the work. We're going to study this, these uh, expressions to talk about obligations or needs. Look at this conversation. Let me read it for you first. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. One more time. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. So if you see in this conversation, these expressions or these, yeah, these expressions um, are to express your, uh, like your obligations or your responsibilities or the things that you need to do at work. Well, I need to uh, call my clients. I need to make some reports or I have to reschedule to meetings. I have to provide important information. I need to, or oh, oh, maybe no, I need, I need to or have to are expressions we can use to express obligations or needs, okay? So you can talk about in this, uh, you can talk in this way. I have to prepare a document for my boss or I need to prepare a document for my boss. I don't know what are some activities or some obligations you have to do or you need to do at work. Yeah. Well, think about that. Write something you have to do or you need to do these days. Mostly talking about work. Okay. For example, let me give you an example. When? Well, uh, so I need to evaluate uh, some students for the morning class. Ah, no, I'm sorry. This is when? In the morning. In the <laughs> there morning. must be something. There must be a what here. Aquí debería haber una columna de what. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Cuándo? Yeah. What? ¿Qué? 
aquí debe haber una columna, falta el what. When? Ok. Uh, Monday? On Wednesday. No, today is Wednesday. On huh? Friday. <laughs> on Friday morning. On Friday morning. What time? Well, on fire. On fire. Um, eight a.m. Eight a.m. Yes. Where? <laughs> on the online class. So this is me. Okay, this is one activity I need to do, or I have to do. No? Uh, for example, if I want to write this in a sentence. Si yo quiero escribir eso en una oración. Tenía que decir. I have to evaluate some students for the morning class on Friday morning at 8 a.m. on the online. Wow, it's better to say at actually here. At the online. You see? So that, that is the idea with this activity. The idea is that you have to, el resultado final es este, no? You have to write a sentence or a couple of sentences. Oops. About the activities you have to do or you need to do. The activities you have to do or you need to do these days. Maybe you can write one or two, no, maybe at least two. Two activities. Uh, I have to, or I need to, basically is the same. Okay, so. Pero, to practice, please write one activity using I have to, another activity using I need to. I have, I need to. Yeah. Me explico? Escríbanme un par de oraciones de lo que deben hacer y de lo que necesitan hacer. Have to or need to are similar. But write one sentence using have to and another sentence using need to. Great job. Um, oh, script. No, right now, just write it in your notebook and then you're going to tell us okay. about that. Something you have to do and something you need to do.
Teacher, ¿cómo se escribe mejoras? Um, you say in, improvement. Improvement. Yes. Improvement. Um, what, what, what are you talking about? What, ¿Qué tipo de mejoras? Eh, bueno, por ejemplo, I need finish the improvement in the system company for to all up in the serve, on the serve. Okay, yeah. Improvements. Para. ¿Cómo se dice meta? No de portería. Oh. No, no de portería. Eso es lo mismo entonces. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. okay. Goals. Like okay. Albo, Albo's goals. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we win. Piso skate. Okay, if you can write your sentences, go ahead. Write the sentences or your activities in the chat.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Ay, me das. <ríe> Qué pedazo grande. Ah. Vamos, ok. Ah, good news for someone. Ah. Okay, pretty good. Aha. <laughs> you need to increase sales. I need to lose. No lo sé, Rick. No lo sé, Rick. <laughs> I have to sell every day. Okay. A lot of things you have to do, people. Meaning on Friday. Okay. Okay, uh, good job. By the way, you must finish unit two by today, right? Now, it tiene que estar la unidad dos terminada. I hope you do. Today. Yeah, today. Okay, okay. And tomorrow, unit three. Yeah, tomorrow we, okay, we start. Okay. okay. Okay, people, very good. Nice sentences. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Very good. Already. Okay. Perfect. Okay, people, it's time to finish tonight. I'm going to get the last attendance of the evening. Quickly respond, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, good night. Thank you, good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night. Good night. Arika Danilson Escobar. Arika Danilson. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Hernan Chacón. Hernan Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. But okay, no. Uh, Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Uh, Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present, good night. Good night. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here, present teacher, good night. Good see you night. tomorrow. Good night, see you. Jose Miguel Maza. Present. Okay, Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher, good night. Awesome. Good night. Hello. Okay. Uh, Luis Miguel Corbera. Present teacher. Good night, guys. I see you tomorrow. Okay, Marcos Vida Lumaña. Present. Great. Nelson Orlando Tejada. 
Present. Good night. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ros René Alessandro Teresón. Here I am, teacher. Good night. Good night. Sí. Ruth Abigail Brito. Eh, Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present. Good night. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night. Good night. Eh, Suleyma Rosibel. Uh, Jorge Luis Martínez. Present. Okay. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Good night, people. That's all for today. See good night, you good night. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Entonces teníamos que tener listo la sección 1, la sección 2 y el examen, ¿verdad? Yes. Meeting, either. Yes, yes, you're right. Ese es para ahora también, ¿va? Yes. Yes, okay. that's right. Bueno, eso, uh, lo dejamos para más tardecito, que solo eso me falta. Ok, okay any questions, uh, José? Um, uh, pues la última que es lo que estábamos viendo de último sí creo que estuvo un poquito más fácil porque uh, wow. no hay mucha diferencia bueno yo no entendí diferencia en el caso de mi trabajo lo que tengo que hacer y lo mm -hmm. que necesito hacer yeah, I have I need siempre va a ser I have to I need to yes no estoy hablando de mí verdad ajá uh -huh. Sí, con, um, tenía una duda ahí en la, en, la, en la evaluación que estaba en la parte de, de ayer, de la sección esta. En la Cuando plataforma. Es en el caso de Ichi, de she, he, 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 Me estás hablando de la plataforma. Exacto, la plataforma en la tarea... Eh, Sí, cabal la tarea número 10. Tengo. Ok, déjame ver. No. En la tarea 9, la 9. Cuando la 9, en la, la tarea 9, en la pregunta 3 es: She has to. Los going to work. Ah. Uh, es claro, has. claro, claro. Estamos en tercera persona. Ajá, ok. Entonces, si puedo confirmar, sería en she, he, it. Has. Sería has. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Si tenía, tenía. Has. Sí, ok. Sí, ya la tenía. Me recordé y la utilicé de esa manera. Y estaba la, estaba la otra. Sí, las otras estaban bien porque how to, need to, need to. Pero sí, solo tenía esa. Entonces, cuando hablamos de he, de she, he, he it. Sí, siempre es, que hay que usarlo en tercera persona, el verbo, ¿no? Ajá. He has to, she needs to. Mm -hmm. Sí, ese, ahí estaba ya. She has to. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. She has to. No. Has to era. Need to. ¿Cómo entonces para traducirlo siempre sería? Ella tiene. Sí, tiene que. He has. Ok. Vale, ahí sí solo eso estaba de ahí. La otra la había con, ya la había terminado. Solo voy a faltar de mirin de, de mirin el examencito nada más. Pero ok. Um, solo una pregunta. ¿Qué recomiendan para 
poder um, porque no lo hablamos en el trabajo y en lo personal no hay con quién um, como medirse ¿Quién practicar? para hablar ajá para practicar y para hablar más que todo porque a veces le hablo a Google y Google no me entiende <ríe> Bueno, pero ese robot a veces ni español, entiendo. No, si tengo una Alexa y trato de hablarle en inglés y es así, es así, es ah. bien complicada porque eh, ella de por sí es, creo que es más gringa que otra cosa, pero cuesta algunas palabras que no, oh, por lo menos la de esta que teníamos es la de uh, en, la, en la lista que tenía donde dice John Will, well, I how to read shall do it. ¿Cómo es esa palabra? Es como reorganizar, creo que era. Read shall do it. Se escribe, no sé cuál es. Ah, reschedule. Rich. Reschedule. Reschedule. Uh, reschedule tenía esa sometime need to tomorrow to bad I have a right customer y la, de, la última de and that so como es esa so o so uh, la última la, la última línea la de Ana la de Ana perdón that so in Interesting. Sound. Interesting. That sounds. That sounds. Interesting. 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 Ah, supongo de ING. Interesting. Aunque okay, eran como de las palabritas que no había entendido en eso. Y ahí con, lo, con la otra sí, con la que hicimos. Prácticamente solo eran como las primeras palabras. En el caso de Science de este uh -huh. sense. sense y de allí partimos por la oración prácticamente que la palabra adecuada era esa sí uh -huh. y de allí partir para hacer la oración tenía esa duda porque si sí, el párrafo fuera bien grande pero las palabras que nos las como las deletreaba a s a s p a s p ajá acaba s s era science era porque decía desde así se traduce desde since sí desde Ajá. es como cuando le ponen a, a, a algunos lugares science y 1900 y la madre Ajá. ok por eso no lo andaba ahí pero de las otras 20 las fichas que nos mandó prácticamente que es como la primera palabra la que tenemos que utilizar verdad del cuál es ficha del del a mí yo me tocó el sí la quiero ver la seis me tocó a mí creo, seis o siete me tocó. pero ok pero sí tenía la duda sobre eso es la primera palabra la que se utiliza para hacer la expresión prácticamente no. la ASSP Bueno, no, la, la verdad que son frases. Ajá, eso, 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 eso. Son frases. Sí, que tenía eso porque para, no, para, para no quedarme tan perdido. Por ejemplos. Sí, pues. Ajá, tenía. Oh. De, ya. Este sins aquí lo podemos traducir como ya, Ajá, que, bueno. ya que esto es relativamente urgente. Oh. una aquí se traduciría ya que esto es unas como una solicitud relativamente un urgente uh -huh. ajá cabales vamos okay. a poner en let's put a hold on vamos a poner eh, una pausa vamos a poner en espera eh, on 
project. Lo que, lo que oh. está diciendo aquí, ya que esta es una solicitud urgente, pongamos en espera. Así eh, como yo le puse. Estamos ah. haciendo. Ajá. Pongamos en espera, por ejemplo. Yo le puse reporte, eso. Pongamos en espera el, el proyecto. El juego. Eh, okay. El juego hasta que uh, hayas terminado. Hasta uh -huh. que termines. Entonces, en sí, la frase, la, la ASSP sería ahí. Es que estas son diferentes maneras de decir eso, de decirle a alguien que cree que haga algo rápido. Okay. Ya son diferentes okay. formas de decirle y pedirle a alguien que te haga bonita. algo rápido de una manera bonita. Ok. Oh, esa tenía eh, la duda de, pues, de cómo las utilizaríamos realmente en el, ah, prácticamente en el día a día. De ahí lo, lo, lo demás, cuando medio no encuentro algo o no le entiendo, pues sí, me apoyo leyendo un poquito. Pero sí, creo que lo que más cuesta es la pronunciación. Vaya, te voy a, a mostrar un sitio que yo pues siempre lo recomiendo porque lo que sirve es este, mira. Hello. Lo uh, hello. ¿No estás viendo? Exacto, sí. sí. Ahorita lo estoy dejando en mi favorito. Hello con tres L's. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello.org. Ah, sí. ORG. Ajá, ok. Uh, Aquí lo tiene un, como favorito. Está organizado por niveles. ¿Ves? Hasta un nivel 7. Okay. Ah. Y en cada nivel hay una serie de entrevistas o conversaciones. Por ejemplo, este habla de cosas que te gustan y cosas que no te gustan. Veamos. Likes and dislikes. Cosas que te gustan y cosas que no te gustan. Entonces está el video. Que usualmente son videos cortos. De dos, tres minutos. Y después van las preguntas. Aquí tenés el texto, ¿verdad? Para que lo puedas leer y, y escuchar. Como leyendo y escuchando. Ajá. Ok, ya lo dejo acá. Sí. Tiene una pequeña explicación de las cosas gramaticales que se mencionan. ¿Qué es lo que usted nos enseña? ¿Verdad? Y un pequeño examencito de, de, de comprensión. Ok. La... Ok. Pero, lo dejo acá en mi favorito. ¿Verdad? En mi, en mi, eh, hora de almuerzo. Sí, como te digo, son entrevistas cortas que la puedes escuchar rápidamente. Ok, gracias. Entonces, ah, ahorita lo dejo. Por ejemplo, mira, Eso esta mismo. es de tres minutos y medio. Incluso creo, aquí tendrías que buscarle un poco, creo que hasta se pueden descargar el audio y tenerlo ahí a la mano y estar escuchando esto, okay. te, esto es lo que ayuda a mejorar el vocabulario, la pronunciación escuchar, escuchar, escuchar lo mismo, tal vez esto como son cortos, lo puedes escuchar imagínate en una hora lo puedes escuchar hasta diez veces por lo menos. hasta que nos lo clavemos exacto Ok, gracias entonces. Right. El este sitio web es, es interesante. Muy bueno. ¿Ah? Ya lo dejé aquí, <ríe> en mi favorito. Copié también aquel que nos, el que nos mandó aquel día. Vea mm. um, Blogser. Vean Blogser, ¿dónde estaban los Ah, ejercicios? sí, ese es buenísimo. Sí, ese también lo, lo, lo he estado usando acá. Eh, lo copié y ahí lo tenía. Sí. Bueno, que es para practicar tú. Uh -huh. Aquí, como te digo, te puedes mejorar tu oído. Y me gusta porque todas las entrevistas son, son reales y incluso con gente de otros países que hablan inglés, lo que te familiariza con diferentes acentos. 
sí, igual que nosotros. Uh -huh. Pero Pero la gente entonces, en... Va. Pero entonces es... sí, creo. Muchas gracias. Ok, José. Estamos ahí. Have a good Muy night. Buena Muy buenas noches. Gracias, bro. Bye bye.